We could mark this under fluoro, make sure, because the fifth is a little bit more proximal. You could come right at the metaphyseal flare. So in a similar fashion, you're going to make your uh, incision just lateral to the extensor. Okay. Use your elevator once again. And um, if there was, if, if I was doing a bunionette, I would definitely make my cut a little bit more angled, sort of 45 degrees. In, in Europe, they tend to make a, just a straight DMMO. I kind of like more of the abutment of the 45 degree cut. So that's what we'll do here. Our burr, and again, you're using, you're both translating and pivoting off your incision. And let's see. Yep. So that's that's a more of a 45 degree cut, as you can see. And basically, that is allowed to translate. And we can translate it over like so. You could pin it if you wanted to. Post-op protocol for a bunionette would be toe strapping. And Waper is tolerated in a post-operative shoe or boot walker. I, I usually put one 4-0 proline suture. In Europe, they do a strip.